In an affidavit read into the record as part of his bail application, Francois van der Merwe said he believes the state is discriminating against him. He was arrested on January 24th while allegedly attempting to forcefully push through a wall of police officers to get into the Hroblas Dal Magistrate Court. This, as security services company owners Peter Hurnavald and Stefan Hriev were due to apply for bail at the court. The pair faced an assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm charge for allegedly setting a dog on their security guard employee. Van der Merwe is cited in an application for permission to march outside court made by non-governmental organization the Bitter Enders as the first of two conveners of the march. The investigating officer on the matter testified that police had an intelligence report that indicated that the bitter enders intended to storm the court building and possibly burst Hrunewald and Hriev out. Van der Merwe faces four charges, including one of assault against the police officer and another of public violence. His lawyer, however, argued in court that the state has no legal basis for opposing bail adding they were only doing so because of undue political influence. So I put it to you that the prosecution and the investigation in this case is tainted by politics. When it comes to Mr. Malema, he can get away with whatever he does. But when my client does something much less serious, then the prosecution and the state, this collective, considers it one of the biggest crimes in history, and, and, and that is discrimination, I put it to you. A back and forth between the magistrate and the defense over the relevance of EFF leader Julius Malima's assault case in which he was acquitted then ensued. I will now tell this court that whatever transpired in the matter of Mr. Malima is now similar with this. Exactly, my lord, that's what I'm saying. And I'll, and I'll, I'll take it one step further. But if, if, the courts, if, if the courts created a precedent by saying that certain conduct was not a precedent, well, either it's, it's no, it's not a precedent. Why is it not a precedent? Why is it a precedent, my lord? Because the public, in general, aside perhaps from the investigating officer, reads they they hear what the courts say, and then they they understand that if one does certain things, it amid, uh, it, 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 it well, where is coming from? That is coming from you, advocate. Don't say it's a president. It's only coming from you. It's not a president. Remember, whatever transpired in that matter is not binding on us. Hence, I'm saying it's not a president. I'm not saying it's binding on the school. It's a, it's a magistrate's court judgment. Yes, it's not binding on us. That is so. I, 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 don't know, I don't know advocate gives as to why you're quoting that case. It was not relevant to our main application. It's, it's absolutely irrelevant, Because, it, and it deals with mens rea, the knowledge of wrongfulness. If the person is acquitted in the court in South Africa, if that's he does something... That, that, that's the one there. Yes. Like I informed you earlier on that we are not trying this matter. We have this... Uh, about uh, the guilt or guilt of anybody because we are not yet trying this matter. We are only dealing with the bill application. If you want to canvass the issue of guilt, we will have ample time to do so during the trial. And I believe that is when we will have time to call that case if you want to call to no, no, no. this. But for now, I don't know. You've, you've got it wrong. Fanel Merve has been remanded in custody until his matter is heard on Thursday next week. Beman Baloi, SABC News, Roblasdal.